Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. So we just like another month away from the release of the first beta of iOS 15 at WWDC 2021. And of course, we already have a lot of features that have been leaked and reported that are coming to the new iOS 15. Now, the cool thing about these features is that most of them has been have been reported actually by multiple sources, which of course leads us to believe that these will actually be on iOS 15. Now, if not on the first beta, they should come on the next few betas or in future updates of iOS 15. Now, before we get started with the new leaks, let me just ask you guys to leave a like on this video. That helps out a lot for the algorithm. So make sure you leave a like on the video. The first thing we're talking about are home screen widgets. I know I have talked about this feature of iOS 15 before. They will be more interactable and they will have different sizes. So you can expect new sizes and maybe even options to actually resize them directly from the home screen without having to remove. As I said, maybe this size, remove it and add another size. You will be able just to actually resize them from here. But when I'm talking about interactable widgets on iOS 14, you know that they just display info. You cannot actually do anything with them. But here's a pure example of how they can look like on iOS 15. I don't know how NordVPN pulled this off, but this widget is actually awesome. It does something useful. So basically tap connect, it will connect you automatically, even though it has still to go into the app to connect and then go out of the app, but it does something and it shows you the status right here, whether you're connected or disconnected. So you tap right here on the widget, you can connect or disconnect quickly from the VPN, which is again, very, very useful. And, but it also of course has to open the app to do the action, but you can still do it from the home screen. Now, when talking about iOS 15, our main source for all these leaks has been I hacked you pro on Twitter an amazing leaker and of course he has been very very accurate with his reports regarding ios in general and of course apple products now this tweet that he has sent lately says that ios 15 will be a great evolution of ios 14 with better fin better finished with interesting useful things and a lot of jailbreak tweaks finally integrated into iOS. Now, this is something we have seen Apple do over and over again. Now, of course, with jailbreaking, if you ever had a jailbroken device, you know that there are amazing features that you can add with different tweaks. Apple has done this over and over. They have added like little tweaks that are maybe similar, some very, very similar to tweaks. They have added them to iOS, like maybe picture in picture or something like that. And of course they look amazing. We have seen this be repeated over and over again. And according to iHack2 Pro, Apple will do that yet again with iOS 15. And we should see a lot of great features that come from tweaks integrated within iOS 15. Now, when it comes to tweaks, of course, tweaks and themes go along on iOS jailbroken devices. And according to Maguire, on Twitter, some early builds of iOS 15 include a custom theming option similar to the jailbreak tweak snowboard. Now, if you have ever had a jailbroken device, you, you know that there, there used to be snowboard and winterboard, which basically allow you to completely change the themes of your iOS device. Not just like add new icons like we do with a shortcuts like method on iOS 14. They would actually just change the icon of the actual app. And of course, you didn't have to have duplicate icons for, for the same app. Now, according to him, the main difference will be that Basically, devs would have to have Apple approved themes and properly signed to install and use them on their devices. Now, I don't know how this will, of course, be implemented if it just makes it to iOS 15. As you can see right here, he says that it's an early build of iOS 15, but I would expect Apple to add something like maybe a dark mode theme for iOS 15. You can see how cool this looks. So if you have, of course, your device on iOS 15, when you switch to the dark mode, it is, of course, very, very like logical to have also a dark theme. Like it looks really, really beautiful. So you can see right here, we're on the dark mode. You can see these don't look that good on the dark mode, but when you go to the dark mode theme, it looks just amazing. Now this would be probably something that Apple would include right here on the settings app under the display and brightness 
probably right here where you have the option to switch to the dark mode and light mode you will also have the option maybe to change the theme now as we're talking about themes and icons it, it is reported that the ios 15 will also have redesigned icons on the home screen don't expect something like big something like totally different from ios 14 but expect apple to update their icons with this like 3d look and make them look way more like similar to the mac os that apple has updated basically last year with mac os big sur you can see right here this is like a custom theme basically made the same style as the mac os big sur icons and this is what you can expect to see on ios 15. Now, when talking about iOS 15, there was a rumor about an always on display, but according to iHackT Pro, always on display is hardware, not software. Now, I expect Apple to release an always on display with iOS 15, but this probably will be a feature that will be exclusive to the new iPhones, the iPhone 12s or 13s, whatever they will be called, that will come out in september now this is probably a feature only exclusive to the new iphones so according to him again this is a display feature not a software feature so don't expect this feature to be on older iphones as always apple is really big on privacy we of course have all these privacy features on the settings app with ios 14 starting of course from location good tracking to everything from bluetooth the camera your mic and everything else right here motion your analytics and of course apple advertising but with ios 15 we're expecting to get a new app dedicated to privacy so this will be a new default app of ios which will basically contain all the new privacy features that apple will add on ios 15 and of course the ones that are currently on ios 14 like the anti-tracking one which has lately been released with ios 14.5 now again ios 15 will come on its first beta on june on june 7th i believe it was with wwdc 2021 and you can expect it to have probably after two or three weeks on the first beta for the public and you would be able to try it out on your own device now as as far as support goes ios 15 is supposed to drop support for the all the devices that are supported by ios 14 being the iphone se the original one and of course the iphone 6s and the 6s plus so if you have one of those devices and you're expecting ios 15 then it's the bad news for you you probably won't get ios 15 on those devices and the oldest iphone to support ios 15 will be the iphone 7 and of course the 7 plus so that's about it for this video guys make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more ios 15 videos and i will see you on the next one